What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of the four-door Honda Civic that we are building. Look at how clean this engine bay is starting to look. There is a lot of little rust spots that we are going to be taking care of. They are pretty much all over the place. But besides that, we got this whole engine bay nice and clean. It's nice and clear. And what we're going to be doing today is we are going to go ahead. You guys can see all this little rust right here. We're gonna go ahead and take care of this. We're gonna sand everything down and we're gonna paint it. We're gonna take care of all these little like brackets that are that go on the firewall. Uh, these brake lines, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them where they are. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand anything that has a little bit of rust and try to scuff the rest so we can lay some paint on this and it won't look so bad once it goes back on the firewall after we paint the whole engine bay. So we wanna make this look as fresh as possible. Therefore, when we paint the engine bay, it's gonna look very sharp. And I wanna do this now because if I do it after I paint, I sand and I paint the engine bay, then I'm scared that I may ruin the engine bay and I might have to cover up a lot more. So it might be easier to do this now. I also wanted to tell you guys about the power steering delete. Usually what I do is I loop this wire, well not wire, I I loop this, this line with this line. Just loop them together, rubber hose from here to here, and that loops it. Um, you're supposed to keep a little bit of fluid in there, and sometimes it's impossible, so I kind of came up with an idea that maybe I could take a T loop both of those together into there and maybe send this up hidden back here onto another reservoir a small little reservoir like the one for the clutch like this one and then all i would do is just plug it in and i could top it off and i would know that that is completely topped off so that might be an idea i'm not sure if i'm gonna do that yet because i've never done this but it's an idea. Let me know what you guys think down below. And don't forget to hit the like button. That helps out a lot for the channel. That makes the channel grow. That lets other people know that I'm here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna try is the wire brush. We're gonna try to hit all this with the wire brush and see if we can knock out as much rust as we can off of it. This is not really in bad shape. It's got your surface rust which I'm pretty sure will come off just fine. Look at this, it's looking very promising already. You guys can see how clean I'm getting this, little by little. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep grinding at this and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Mm -hmm. 
this is how far I got with the wire brush. It's looking a lot cleaner. I did go ahead and I removed one of the heater hoses. I couldn't remove this one. It was just really stubborn on there. I didn't want to rip it. Um, I also removed the little bracket that went on here. And I removed a few other things that could be in the way. Um, all the rest, I believe I'm going to go ahead and paint. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to lay some of this stuff down. Some rust dissolver, just to make sure that I get about 90% of the rust that's on there completely off. And we'll go ahead and lay this down and wait a good half an hour to an hour. I'll probably wait half an hour and then I'll lay a second coat of this stuff. This is just gonna kill any surface rust that's on there. I'm gonna use the brush, scrub it all in and let it be. All right, so I'm already rinsing. This will be the second rinse that I put on here of water. And as soon as I finish this, I'm gonna go ahead and use the compressor to blow air all around it and make sure that there's no water left so we can start painting. Hey, check it out. UPS just came by and they dropped off a package. You guys know what's in here? Any guesses? Go down below, take a guess. I'll reveal what's in the package in my next video. Either way, let's get back to the Civic over here. I'm just kidding. Let's open this box up. So I can show you what it is. It's coming from Wholesale Auto Parts. Autopaintsforless.com. There's their website. Autopaintsforless.com. And this is the paint for the engine bay. This is a stage one. Wow. Look at this. Everything's packed very very nicely really appreciate this how he packed it you guys see what it is dark gold rush pearl metallic so now you guys know exactly what the engine bay is going to be this kit came with everything we got this is going to be the reducer in here yep this is the reducer they included a cup a mixing cup and this is the hardener. This is what's going to give it the shine and also what's going to make the paint nice and hard. All right, I got the paint right here. Are you guys ready for this? I just cracked it open. And here it is. Wow. I can really see the metallic in this. I don't know if you guys can see this. But you can really see the metallic. This color is going to look really nice. Wow, the fumes are super strong already. I'm going to go ahead and seal this correctly. And I'll continue recording in a second. 
let me show you guys what this paint looks like under the sun. I don't know if you guys can see this. But this is going to look really nice. It's a lot darker than the Rust-Oleum one that I had done over here. Way darker. Yeah, I really like this color. All right, now seriously, let's get back to the Civic. I'm gonna go ahead and run some air all around. Make sure there's no more water that's hidden anywhere. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tape up. I got everything taped up and I laid some cardboard. I'm gonna lay some cardboard on the floor also. Um, I know that the floor is already wet, but still I'm still gonna lay a little bit of cardboard on the floor. Um, I didn't record this process because I know you guys know how to tape up, how to put cardboard and stuff like that. So you guys already know that the whole engine bay is gonna be painted that I didn't have to put tape right there where I did or on the other side where I did because it's going to be sanded either way but I still did so it could look a little bit cleaner as a finished product right now um, yes we are going to be using this stuff right here the hammered paint and primer and this is the black so that's what we're going to be using. We're going to lay this all over right here and all over the lines. So right now I'm going to go ahead and throw you guys on a quick time lapse and just lay the first coat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my first coat to make everything tacky. My second coat is going to be a complete color change. And my third coat is going to be the one that's going to be really heavy. That's going to give me the gloss. I am going to wait around 10 to 15 minutes between coats as a flash time and let's get to it i forgot one more thing we're going to be using some mineral spirits to wipe everything down one last time to make sure that everything's nice and clean so now we could get to it third coat is on and it's looking very very nice I have no runs at all it looks very very nice I'm gonna go ahead and start to remove the cardboard and start to remove the tape most of the cardboard is removed and the tape also let me tell you guys that this paint I really like this hammered uh, paint by Rust-Oleum the only thing is that it looks kind of grayish like a dark like a dark gray it doesn't really look that black it honestly looks like a metallic 
like a dark charcoal gray. That's the color that I'm looking for. That's kind of what this looks like right now. And it does have the hammer texture to it. I could see it. But it looks pretty good. I really like how it looks. I like how it feels. It's looking really good. Um, I think this is going to be the end of the video. Tomorrow, we're going to start by hitting everything around the engine compartment with the wire brush and try to make all of this disappear and then we will start hitting everything with sandpaper and start getting it ready for paint i'm not worried about that um getting dirty about it getting uh dust on there because that's gonna be dry by tomorrow and not only that i am gonna wash the whole thing down before i lay paint and before i lay the paint of course i'm gonna cover that i'm gonna cover everything that i painted already so i'm not too worried about that so like i said tomorrow we'll start hitting the engine bay getting it ready for paint so like i said this is going to be the end of the video if you haven't hit the thumbs up go down below and hit it if you haven't subscribed go down below and subscribe because we are having a giveaway the giveaway is going to be that civic um, we are getting very close to that giveaway, so make sure you're subscribed. And I will catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.